for all of the little moments and the big moments too. Titan Medical Center can help you achieve the best version of you. From hormone replacement therapy to medical weight loss, blood work, peptides, and much more. All of our therapies are doctor prescribed, monitored, and come straight from a U.S. licensed pharmacy right to your doorstep. Call Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I'm here today to talk to you about one of our awesome vitamin and amino therapies called Titan Complete. So Titan Complete is gonna be given as an intramuscular injection, which is gonna get up into the bloodstream a lot more readily than if you were to take something orally. With this therapy, you're gonna get your full B-complex vitamins of your vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 12. So with this, that's gonna help with natural energy, lowering inflammation, digestion, cholesterol, so on and so forth. It will also include your branch chain amino acids of your leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Those are gonna help with muscle and tissue recovery after your workouts, along with your L-carnitine plus MYC, which stands for methionine, inositol, and choline. Those are your amino acids that are gonna help with fat and cholesterol mobilization to aid in fat loss. So there you have it, tight and complete, full of good energy, muscle and tissue recovery, and fat loss. Do you think you have a business or service that should be spotlighted on our tight medical center, health and lifestyle show, which is on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m.? If you do, email us at tightmedicalcenter at gmail.com. My name is Angelina Lovalente. I am a women's fitness coach and competitive bodybuilder. So it is important for me to lead by example and really be an influence in the health and wellness industry. So I've always been very cognizant about treating my body well and optimizing my health. So that is why I found Titan Medical to really help take my health and wellness to the next level. You know, I have always been really in tune with my body, making sure that my cognitive function is well, um, that my digestion is good, that my energy is up. So I was pretty happy with where I was, but as a competitive bodybuilder, knowing that I wanted to take things to the next level and really have that competitive edge. So once I started taking the Titan Medical Therapies, I mean, it just took me to another level. Um, my energy not only was steady, but sustained through the day. I was able to perform better at work, in the gym, uh, had better endurance. As we know, you know, every day counts when you're a competitor. So being able to push hard and really make the most of the day was really important. Sure, so I take the ECA stack in the morning. It is ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, uh, B12, and chromium as well. So that has just completely elevated my energy levels. Um, more so than a cup of coffee or a tea in the morning that just gives you that little burst. This is really sustained energy throughout the day. This has allowed me to be more present at work. This has given me the energy to get through my day and still be able to push hard in the gym at the end of the day. Um, I've also been taking the Hercules potion, which is a blend of amino acids, um, as well as glutamine and some recovery agents. So that is um, a targeted intramuscular injection. So whether you're doing glutes, you're doing shoulders, um, you can be really specific with getting a good pump in that certain area. So I remember my first week taking the potion <laughs> and I don't think I had ever been more sore in my life and that really just enabled me to understand that you know I had maybe been selling myself short in the gym and really had more to give so every time I've used the potion I've had an incredible workout and really had enhanced recovery on top of that so it's allowed me to perform at my best I feel like a new person <laughs> honestly I was always really happy with my energy levels and was performing better than average in the gym but now that I have my Titan therapies, I know that I am maximizing every single day. I'm being able to show up better in my work, in my relationships, in the gym, and it's just overall enhanced everything that I do. 
Oh, it was incredible. So I actually had my consultation right from my bedroom in my pajamas, which was extremely convenient. Uh, the doctor took me through all of the Titan therapies, so I was knowledgeable on each of them, what it included, what was really gonna help support my goals, um, and then customize all the therapies for me specifically. Um, no question went unanswered, and once my consultation was finished, the team followed up immediately, was able to put in my therapies, and they arrived at my door in two days. I couldn't be happier as a Titan patient. Honestly, I feel great, but on top of that, the Titan family has been extremely supportive. Um, everybody is really performing at their best and is extremely supportive, so I'm happy to be a part of the team. What's up guys, John back from Titan, and I'm here with my APRN, Cass Fernandez. So today we're gonna to cover some of the most common questions that I think Cass gets in his visits. Um, the first one I think is pretty common, right? And is basically, am I married to this therapy? Will I have to stay on this hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy for the rest of my life? You're right, I get that quite often. Patients wanna know, once I start this therapy, am I gonna be on it forever? So the short answer to that is no, you're not. So when you come to us, we will evaluate your needs for hormones. Right. If you need a replacement type of therapy, we will prescribe one to you. However, our therapies are very therapeutic. So we're gonna approach that in a way that doesn't shut your system down. Gotcha. So we're gonna have gonadal support. We're gonna be controlling your estrogen levels as well. Mm -hmm. So when it's time, if you decide after years of therapy and feeling mm -hmm. great, you wanna come off, you can do that and we'll safely do that with a tapering down approach. Gotcha. Okay, now with that being said, what we would do is we would lower those levels safely and you will revert back to what you were previously as your hormone levels. Now, mm -hmm. big disclaimer, as we age, our hormone levels begin to decline, okay? Right. So you may not be as high as you once were. However, you can safely come off of these therapies and have your production that you naturally have. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's a good point out there. So you guys ask that a lot. I want to make sure the medical provider could properly explain it to you guys and it's it's really some good information you know people really don't know this information they think uh, once i go on this i'm gonna have to stay on this for the rest of my life i've seen this in some forums and online and stuff like that so it's awesome that you explain it to people that sure. you don't have to be on this for the rest of your life let's say there's a health issue financial issue something goes on we can help properly get you off the exactly. healthy way um the second question is is you know Am I going to lose fertility or am I going to have a kid on testosterone hormone replacement therapy? Because we might get some, you know, people in their 30s and they still want to have kids um, or, you know, people in general are worried about fertility. What do you think? Sure. Absolutely. I mean, big question. Important question. We all want to know that, especially as men, especially as men in relationships wanting mm -hmm. to conceive children one day. Right. So common misconception. You start hormones steroids, the negative things about them, abusing them. Yes, you can have some issues with them. However, again, our therapeutic approach with medical providers monitoring you closely, giving you gonadal support, yep. keeping your function where yep. it should be naturally is going to help you potentially conceive children. Right. Okay, we have therapies, glutathione and HCG, human chorionic gonotropic hormones. Those can help you have strong, healthy sperm, healthy gonads. So definitely we are gonna take care of you as best we can to help you with all of your goals, even if it is conceiving children. Awesome, awesome. So I think that's another big one. Now, what, what do you think is the other big questions that you get? I mean, is there anything that sticks out in your head, you know, that you get a lot of questions why commonly asked, asked question i know you know uh, uh and needles you know does it have to be an injection can it be an oral form can it be a cream can it be a gel for uh, hormone replacement therapy and you know and basically i think oh, yeah. that question is yes right i mean i get i could sit here all day and talk about all the questions i get yeah. but that is an important one because patients want to know is this injectable? Is this a cream? Is this a, a lotion? Right. Is this a pill? So right. we do offer all of those, of yep. course. Yep. Um, now, they're indicated for different reasons, specifically per each patient. Yep. So I will say that 
obviously injections are where it's at. It's very precise way to deliver that medication, yep. you know, in a manner that you absorb it well. Now, for other patients, creams make more sense. Right. Um, and as far as pills go, you know, that is an option as well. Right. Um, but we will make sure we customize that approach for each patient, each one of you. Right. Yeah, because different people want different maybe administration forms, and we can definitely offer that for our patients to customize that regimen form. So it's great information there. The other thing is, uh, you know, the next thing I would think is, is is testosterone going to make me aggressive or going to turn me into Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, I mean, that'd be great, right, if we could all look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. But <laughs> the truth is, no, it's not going to turn you into a monster. Right. No, it's not going to make you super aggressive. Yeah. Now, that can happen with patients who are unbalanced, okay, right. without being treated by a medical provider. Yes. Hormones do change. They fluctuate. So when you change one, alter one, the other can have an effect. But, again, our therapeutic approach here at Titan, we're going to make sure that your levels are balanced so you have a positive reaction to the treatment and you feel well and optimized so it's all about balance so you're not mm -hmm. going to turn into you know an aggressive person that's mm -hmm. not what we do here at titan medical center mm -hmm. we're going to make you optimize we're going to help you with your health and overall wellness right so these are just a couple commonly asked questions by patients now i think we're going to do some more content along the lines and sure. bring you some more questions and answers of these common questions that patients might want to know the answer too, just like you. So stay tuned. We're going to bring Cash back, APRN, or you might see him on your visit if you become a Titan Medical Center patient. So we appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon. Guys, stay strong out there, stay healthy, and now let's stay educated, okay? So you ever hear that saying, a healthy body is a healthy mind? Well, stay tuned to this video and we're gonna talk about it. What's up guys? John here with the Titan family. What's up? And we are down here in Fort Lauderdale representing as a title sponsor of the Atlantic Coast Pro-Am. We've been down here two days, Friday and Saturday. It's been exhilarating events all day. These competitors have brought some great packages and we've got to you know, talk to a whole bunch of great people inside. So we're gonna show you what's going on in the show did a lot of free giveaways. Our tight nets, Destiny and Angelina represented to the fullest. So follow us inside and check out this video and see all the behind the scenes stuff of what's going on down here in Fort Lauderdale with Tight Medical Center and at the Atlantic Coast Pro-Am Show. So come on, let's go let's guys. Go. Let's go. What's up guys? We're here, right, down in Fort Lauderdale. I am main man Deke. Deke. You guys don't know Deke, the man, the myth, the legend right here. You guys better know, because you guys are probably seeing him on Titan Medical Center's page, because he throws great awesome. shows. Awesome shows we're always a part of, always love sponsoring Deke. Great guy, does a lot of things for the competitors and for the sport in general. So we love you Deke, good to see you this guys man. As well. Yeah, we love Deke. Oh. That's a wrap, guys. NPC Atlantic Pro Am Show. Tight Medical Center is one of the big sponsors here. We came, we conquered, we dominated like we always do. And it was an amazing show, it was amazing competitors. Big shout out to Tim Gardner and everybody that produced this show. And we love you guys all. So, guys, if you guys missed this awesome show, miss this great Tight Medical Center event, don't worry because we're going to have plenty coming at you in 2022. So, you guys can check this out, but make sure you guys check out our new events and come join us for all the free giveaways and all the great stuff the Titan Medical Center has to offer. So, that saying, a healthy body is a healthy mind, that saying is so true. Just like a bunch of those old other sayings that we always used to hear as a kid, and he's like, yeah, right, you don't know what you're talking about. And you grow up and you realize it's true. Well, this one is true, for sure, 100%. And let's talk about some of the ways it is true. So, when you work out, okay, you're gonna start getting the blood flowing in your body. This is gonna cause a whole bunch of other different responses in the body. The synapses in the brain, they're gonna shoot out a lot better, right? There's neurons in the brain, should be shooting too as well. 
even more while you're working out. And if you're running per se, you'll get that endorphin kick, which will also increase mental clarity and focus. So if you do work out, you know what I'm talking about. After you go to the gym, you might be a little bit tired, but you're on your game mentally. And those days you don't go work out or those people that don't work out, you might wake up and be sluggish and foggy minded and not clear minded. So you can't mentally focus on things that you really need to. Yourself, your family, your career, all these different things are great. And mental clarity and focus is a main key proponent of it. So work out your body and work out your mind to get the overall package and best quality experience and performance that you possibly can. If you need help in any of these departments, then contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220. You can always check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, more commonly known as NAD. This coenzyme works on a cellular level to help with alertness, concentration, focus, memory, recall. In addition, it can help chronic fatigue syndrome. And the most interesting part is it has anti-aging effects. DNA telomeres actually shorten as we age. NAD can actually elongate them. So for a treatment that's next level, cutting edge. NAD injected right into the muscle or subcutaneously can help you with anti-aging effects and overall performance enhancement. So if you're interested in learning more about it, give us a call 727-389-3220. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite or take your relationship to a whole new level. And some of these things, you know, affect us personally, which affects our relationships too as well. So this topic really does cover the spectrum. Whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship, um, this is going to definitely help you out. So this week we're gonna talk about healthy habits. That's right. So there's many and a lot of different healthy habits that you might have or might want to achieve, right? So at that point, you know, you really gotta narrow it down what we're gonna talk about today. And but this could go for everything else. Now, There's like a hundred healthy habits you really? can have, right? Really? Yeah. So you're talking about like healthy exercise, yep. like healthy eating habits, yep. healthy sleep patterns, yep. healthy sex life, yep. all these different things, you know, these all these different habits that you may have. And you might have bad habits too, right? Everybody has bad habits. Oh. Just hope they don't outweigh the good habits, right? You don't want really bad habits. Yeah, you don't, you don't want, want to be addicted habits. to drugs or anything like that. Right. Or, you know, you, you can have a lot of bad you know, porn habits or whatever it is. So at that point, you don't want to have these different habits because these things could lead to addiction and so on, right? So when we talk about healthy habits, we want to talk about how we achieve healthy habits. Do you know how to achieve healthy habits? Um, I just, I follow, I follow John's instructions. 
<laughs> Love that answer. <laughs> Kudos and brownie points to my wife. She, she just made me happy, I right? I hate brownies, though. <laughs> Fun fact that Sharice does not like chocolate. I No, I hate chocolate. It's repulsive. I don't know how any of you guys eat it. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> more for me. Yeah. When I first met her, that was definitely one of, the, one of the talking points. Like, you don't like chocolate? She's like, no one likes chocolate. I'm like, oh, is it because, you know, you don't want to get fat because you eat <laughs> chocolate? Or she's like, no, no, no. I just don't like he chocolate. He literally I don't will like the smell eat, of like, it. I'm like, telling you, he'll it. eat. Like, his, one of his favorite things is Godiva. And like he'll eat was. chocolate. He, I mean, you know, now that they're not around, you know, yeah. he's not the biggest fan of it being shipped in a box that you can buy at the store. Unbelievable. You to buy it like behind the counter. But anyways, even with him eating a piece of chocolate cake or a brownie or something, I'm like, did you just eat chocolate? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. It I'm kind of, so bad. I'm gonna be, be sitting in bed or whatever. I might grab like, a chocolate uh, chip cookie or whatever. So uh, like smiling, like just look at me and like this uh, disgust face, like. <laughs> Like, what are you, what, are you serious? Like, what's the matter I'm like here? dead serious. It's repulsive. I want to throw up. And, and like everybody you told, like, they pretty, everybody pretty much likes the chocolate. They all right? think I'm weird. It's you fine. know, Sharice was the first person I ever met that did not like chocolate. And uh, I've met one or two since then. But I'm telling you, like, where are these people at? Because I've never met them ever in my <laughs> one life. One of them is my brother, right? Her. And she brainwashed him. So, what? Um, but anyway, creating <laughs> healthy habits. Let's get back to this. Hey, so, healthy uh, habit. Don't I, eat chocolate. <laughs> Well, they say chocolate could be good, yeah, like if you're depressed and stuff like that, and it can be, you know, ways different things like that. Okay, so chocolate right. is not a bad thing, dark chocolate especially, and, and good quality chocolate because there's, there's good chocolate, there's, you know, and there's bad chocolate. So I know you're saying chocolate's all bad. So mm-hmm. it is what it is, as sugar is what it is. But Disgusting. let's go back to healthy habits yeah. and real healthy habits and creating healthy habits because that's what we're here for. <laughs> so <laughs> to create healthy habits, one first thing you got to do is you plan and you identify the negative bad habit, whatever it is, right? Whether it's your eating habits, you're eating a whole bunch of junk food, whatever it is, smoking, whatever it may be, whatever your negative habit is. So identify it, plan of attack is next. What are you gonna do to get out of that negative habit? Do you know? I mean, and what comes to me just uh, like recently, because you know John likes to preach to me about these things. That's why I say just follow John. I don't always Sunday listen. sermon. I don't always listen, okay? But you know, I hear what he's saying. Anyways, you know, one of my bad habits is eating fast food. He's trying to get you know Peter, our little baby. He's trying to get Peter to stop eating fast food as well, right? So which sucks because like I'm an adult. So obviously he's a child, I'm an adult. He can't do what he wants, I can do what I want. So, you know, Sunday rolls around and I'm like, it's Sunday, I'm gonna veg out, get whatever I want, right? And John, John's been really good about this too, because I used to just order him stuff, and then of course it would show up Burger King, and I'm like, there's a Whopper here, it's a Whopper, don't you want it? And you know, usually he'd be like, yeah, fine, whatever. He's been really good about it lately, and been like, no, 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 no I'm good, I'm good, I'll just eat a steak or whatever it is. Me, on the other hand, you know, I'm over here like devil, and um, you know, I'm like, no, 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 no. Miss Temptation. <laughs> of course, ding dong, yeah. you know, Uber Eats shows up, and like they got a bag of Burger King, and of course, this one over here automatically assumed. And I did good this time, guys. I did real good. So this time, he, he assumed that I already ordered Peter some Burger King, because I usually do, right? Because I feel bad. I'm like eating fast food in front of the kid. The kid's like, nom, nom, nom. And I'm over here like, nom, nom, nom. And I'm like, <laughs> so, <laughs> this time I didn't do that for Peter. So Burger King shows up, right? This is the true story, like literally just this past weekend. Love the true stories. But, you know, it shows up, and I'm like, you know, grab it. And he's like, Dad knew you got me Burger King. And I was like, uh, actually, there's only one burger in there. <laughs> I'm like, and it's mine. <laughs> and he's like, what? You didn't get me any Burger King? And I'm like, no, I told you Dad didn't want you having any. He legit thought I was kidding. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't kidding. That's <laughs> even better. <laughs> I, felt, I love that. I felt so bad because I literally thought I was going to get it before they got back from baseball. That did not happen. It just showed up like right after they walked in the door. I'm like, oh, no, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I can share a half a burger because I'm eating this burger, okay? So anyways, I was like, I was like, Dad's going to be mad. That's why I didn't order. I was like, if he approves it, I'll order you one when I go upstairs and it'll come in like an hour. So I walk upstairs and I'm like, hey, I'm like, you know, and he's, 
he, this one over here tells me, he's like, well, he's like, Peter can't have any of that. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm just going to eat mine. And he's like, you know, you should really start, cre- here it goes. You should start creating some good habits too, you know, you know, set the example. And I'm like, okay. I'm that's like, right. I'm going to set the example tomorrow. <laughs> that's where mistakes will come if you follow her path. <laughs> Oh, hey, at least I'm not sitting here. Lo- I could lie to you true, and be true. like, "Oh my God!" So I eat a salad every day, and then I eat this grilled chicken, and then that's all I eat, and I'm just I'm so healthy. I want to be better. Healthy habits are very important, especially if you're you know type two diabetic, you have hypertensive issues, you have high cholesterol. These are all really important things, and honestly, it's taking over as like a pandemic over the whole United States of America. Yeah. Everybody's overweight, World. they're obese, they're eating whatever they want, and then they go to the doctor, doctor gives them some sort of statin, some sort of drug, something to lower their blood pressure, you know, and this is ultimately affecting your health. So, yes, John, he gets he gets one tally for today for being right on having healthy habits. This is a just a right, this, this story I'm telling you is just a real life story yeah. that recently took place. And let me tell you, those onion rings were really good. So, once you identify the problem and you're playing the attack on the problem, identify. the next thing you want to do is change the environment, right? So, in any environment, you want to change. Whether you're hanging around people that are doing drugs, you get away from those people. People are drinking alcohol, you stay away from them, right? And same thing with food. If you go into your kitchen, your pantry, and you have all this garbage there, it's there, it's gonna put you in the temptation and put you in a more vulnerable position to want to eat those negative foods. They're gonna affect you that in a bad way. It's so true too, it's so true, yeah. so true. So, I mean, these are just some of the ways you can get away from it. The next thing you have to do is, is if you need to ask for help, ask for help. You know, whether you're going through whatever it is, whether it's the food thing or the drug thing or alcohol thing, or whatever that bad habit is, and it doesn't have to be a negative bad habit per se, it's just something that, you know it's a bad habit, you should probably change, whether it's biting your nails. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different things out there. So People have some, definitely have some bad, bad habits. A- ask for help, right? And then do it continuously and be consistent about it. Hold yourself accountable for it. Um, and this is just some quick things you can do to break bad habits. Now they say that habits form after usually 18 to 21 days, right? And then it turns to like automatic. And that's usually 66 days to 254 days is what the study said. So wow. it's, it's really crazy. So if you can continuously do this over and over and over, it will become automatic in a positive way or if you do negative things in a negative way. So make sure you stay on the positive train and moving forward and pushing through. I'll be eating my girl chicken tonight. Don't worry. So guys, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this Sunday of Cupid's Corner. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. So does she. And uh, we'll be here every week for you guys. Make sure you guys, if you guys didn't watch it live, DVR it, right? Every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. Or just check us out on YouTube, Titan Medical Center, type it in, press the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell. If you guys want to know about more of our therapies here at Titan Medical Center, check out our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yeah, all the talks. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.